Hello everybody, Mentob here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Godzilla Save the Earth online. To start the setup process, first download everything that I have linked in the description. To start, extract PCSX2 binaries and its final destination. In my case, I will have it on my desktop. Next, create a folder in your PCSX2 emulator called BIOS. Then extract your PS2 BIOS into the BIOS folder that you just made. Run the executable and then set up your controls and BIOS like so. The next step is to patch your ROM. Extract your ROM into its final destination. In my case, I will have put it in my ROM files. After, run WinDIP and select your ISO. Click Scan File, click Verify Version. Then type 00000000054 in this box and then click Patch. Once that finishes patching, click OK and then exit out of WinDIP. Next, run the setup for NPCAP. When you're finished with that, then run the setup for admin. After this, extract the Dev9 plugin in your plugins folder located in the emulator files. Go to config in your emulator and then select plugin slash bio selector. Then go down to dev9 and open up the drop down menu and select gigahertz dev9 driver 0.4.0. Click apply, then click configure. Once you're here, then check enabled here. Then navigate the drop down menu here and select pcap bridge colon famatech. Now this next step is very important that you get correct. You're going to want to open up command prompt and then type ipconfig. Put that off to the side and then extract your network adapter startup disk into its final destination. Run PCSX2 and then select the network adapter startup disk and then boot fast. Move the emulation window off to the side and wait for it to get to the menu. Once you are there, select ISP setup and then select Format. Press X to continue. Press X again. And then again. Here's where you can enter in your age. I recommend entering a number higher than 18. Press X and then once you see the screen for the registration form, you can type in your information. It doesn't really matter what you type in here. Once you are finished with that, press enter. After this, you can press X until you reach the setup process.
Once you get here, type in the name you want for your network adapter. In my case, it will be GZSTE. Select Yes, and then select High Speed Connection. Then select Manual Settings. This is the part you want to make sure you get right. In your command prompt window, you will see a section labeled as Ethernet Adapter Radmin VPN. This is the section you're going to want to copy over into the network setup. So for the IPv4 address, type in the corresponding number for the IPv4 address you see in command prompt. In my case, it's 26.009.056.071. Then type in the corresponding number for your net mask. In my case, it's 255.0.0.0. After this, type the corresponding number for your default router address. In my case, it's 026.0.0.001. Once you finish typing those three values in, hit enter three times and it will save your network configuration. Press X. and then exit out of the emulation, then close command prompt. At this point, we are done with the modding process. The next step is to run Radmin and set up a network for your friends to connect to. So run Radmin and select create network. In the network name box, type whatever you want to be your network name. In my case, I'll be naming it GZSTE54 and then make your password whatever you want as a password, but make sure you remember it. Once you have your network set up, have your friend, assuming they did the whole setup process as well, select Join Network in Radmin VPN, and then have them type in the network name and password that you have chosen. At this point, you can now run Godzilla and play with friends. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.